Okay, here we go. We have Games Workshops Harlequin Troop for 40k just released. And Harlequin's been around for ages. And always fun to paint. All that checker pattern. Oh boy, I remember that from many, many years ago. But they're finally in plastic. Uh, we're just gonna take a look here. Not a huge review, just kind of want to show everyone since I know this was a highly anticipated release. We have the instructions as usual. Is that, ooh, we got some previews of upcoming models there. And uh, I thought they were fighting with Slanish. Looks like they're fighting against Slanish. But, uh, sorry, I'm looking to see if that's the new, I think it's called a Skyweaver vehicle that hasn't been shown yet. Um, that might be it right there. Anyway, um, there's your destructions. Nothing spectacular. Good lord. Look at all those head options. As with all Games Workshop kits, you get a lot of variety and... Woo! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, 15, 16 different heads for 6 models. Wow, that's a little overkill, but pretty cool. Okay. So you get three different sprues. A lighting adjust. There we go. Give you a quick preview here. Some, as usual with Games Workshop, very nice detail. There's some little lacy type things coming off the. Uh, oh, that's the front, front chest piece. He's wearing like a trench coat or something. Yeah, I guess that's the back. Very nice, crisp details. And then the other, well, one, two sprues, depending on how you want to call it. There is all your heads. A couple more over there. You get some nice demon heads too, which is pretty cool. So they look a bit more evil looking. Now one thing they're missing is the checkerboard pattern. Kind of surprised they didn't uh, sculpt in a checkerboard pattern on the various arms and legs. And actually, I had a discussion with this uh, with one of my painting friends. Um, I really thought they should do it, but he was like, "Oh, well, maybe not everyone wants to paint checkerboard patterns. But if it was already engraved on, which would be easy to do, especially with all the 3D whatever uh, printing and sculpting that they do nowadays, rather than doing it by hand. I think most people out there would would paint the checkerboard pattern if it was sculpted on, and um, most people would not paint it if it wasn't. Unfortunately, I'm one of the people who is going to paint the checkerboard pattern, so yay. But uh, yeah, they could have done it. They even did it on one of the heads. See, there's so they could do it. It's right there, but they chose not to. So I was a little disappointed on that because painting it is a huge pain in the ass. But you get a lot of options. <clears throat> Faces just randomly thrown in there. Oh, you do get a set of decals, only in two colors though. So not a huge impress, hugely impressive sheet bases, obviously. And there's your main box set. Actually, I really like the. Uh, the color scheme they used on the ones on the back and they use the alternate heads because the ones on the front they just kind of used all the same plain um i forget what type of face you call that um whatever uh, but doesn't look that exciting but the ones on the back you got like the demon heads and the skull head there and lots of uh they look a lot better on the back here and i really like the color scheme too with the the blue and the purple and a little bit of magenta worked in a little bit of green very nice. So there you go. Quick look at the Harlequin Troop. Six figures for 40 bucks. So uh, yeah, go ahead and do your old ranting about the prices in the comments if you want. And we also have the Harlequin Solitaire. This one I'm not going to open yet because there's not really much to see. No optional parts as usual with the single uh, command figures. Um, I really don't like this one as much mainly just for well they didn't do a hugely impressive job with the paint job um but the positioning too he looks like he's doing some sort of parkour mo move but you know you would think his hand would be on something like his hand would be down here instead it's 
the edge of his cloak is attached and it just looks very weird. I'm gonna have to do a little conversion work on this one before painting him up. But that's it real quick. Um, fine details as always, plenty of options, at least in the head department. I didn't count arms or weapons yet. I really don't know the stats or anything like that on these guys, so I don't know the weapon options. I just wanna paint some colorful looking miniatures. But overall, excellent quality. Uh, standard GW quality. I'm not seeing a massive amount of seam lines anywhere. Just a few here and there to clean up. But uh, this should be quite fun to paint. And there you go. Games Workshop Harlequins.